and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win every time. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. Before we get into some NBA action for April the 10th, I want to invite you again to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which has every tool you need to help make your picks. So as we're winding down the NBA season, there are still games of importance, but mostly teams are playing to try to make sure they're playing their best ball heading into the postseason. So let's take a look at some of the action. We're going to take a look at four games scheduled for this Sunday. As you scroll down through the list, the Milwaukee Bucks and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Milwaukee enters third in the Eastern Conference and take on the Cavaliers, who are seventh in the conference. The Bucks are average status at the moment. Winners of three out of their last six games are coming off a 127-106 win against Chicago. While Cleveland is ice cold down, losers of four out of their last six games and coming off of a loss to Orlando. You notice that the Bucks had been involved in games over the line in four out of the last six, and the same thing with Cleveland. The score prediction shows Milwaukee with a 122 to 114 edge with about 53% level of confidence in the prediction. If we take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that Milwaukee has been on a downward trend since the beginning of the month. They were at plus 27, and now they're at plus 21 as of a few days ago. And Cleveland again has gone down over the last few days. They are at plus 11. The consistency factor, how stable are the two teams, how consistent are they performing according to their favorite underdog status, you can see that Milwaukee is at plus 22 while Cleveland is at plus 27, and with a general upward trend as you see the, the graphs going in the general upward direction. So that shows that both teams are pretty consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. I do like Milwaukee though on the road. I think they have uh, just obviously overall the better team. I think it's going to be a close game, though, but I'd like them to win in a game going over the line. Washington and Charlotte, we won't take a look at that one. Memphis and Boston, Detroit and Philadelphia. You see it's a full slate of games. Miami and Orlando, let's take a look at this one. The Heat is first in the Eastern Conference, while Orlando is dead last. You see that the Heat is burning hot at the moment, winners of five out of the last six, while Orlando is dead up, coming off of a win over Cleveland, but they are... 1-5 over their last six. Orlando has been involved in games going over the line in three out of their last six, and Miami has been over the line in their last three and four out of their last six. The score prediction has a 116 to 107 edge for Miami with about 56% level of confidence in prediction. So that may go over, may go under the line if it, if that score holds true. You see right now the odds have not yet been posted, so once those odds are, you'll, you'll have a little bit better feel as to where to go. With the over-under bet, I have the direction I want to go, and I will reveal that at the end of this pick. Uh, power rankings indicator shows Miami on the upward trend from March 28th at plus 19, and now they have stabilized at plus 28, while Orlando is at zero. So, the volatility officer, this should not be a surprise at all. Orlando is very consistent at plus 37. Why? They're bad, and they are generally the underdog, and generally they are losing games. And that's going to be the case again here. Miami's just way too strong. Even if Miami rests their starters, which they probably will, um, unless they don't have number one seed wrapped up in the conference. But if they do, they will rest their starters. But even so, Miami has enough to win. But I would avoid the over-under bet. Toronto and New York next. Chicago and Minnesota. Here's another game I want to look at. Chicago enters with the sixth best record in the Eastern Conference. But they have lost their last three and four of their last six and our ice cold down status. Minnesota, on the other hand, is seventh in the Western Conference, and they are average down coming off a loss, and they are three and three over their last six games. As far as the over-under is concerned, you can see Minnesota has been involved in games over the line in each of their last three and four out of their last six, while Chicago has been in games over the line in three out of their last six games. The score prediction has Minnesota by a 120 to 107 margin at 56% level of confidence. That would go over the line most likely. Again, the line has not yet been set, but I believe that would be a game that would go over. Uh, Chicago is at plus 16 on the power ranking indicator. Minnesota on the upward trend is at plus 20. Just a few days ago, it was reversed with Chicago higher than Minnesota. So you can see how things can change just over the course of a few days. The stability factor shows that both teams are extremely stable. Look at this, plus 38 for Chicago and plus 32 for Minnesota. And you can see they're on the upward trend, pretty much upward trend throughout the whole course of the season. So I like this. I like for Minnesota then 
to be a winner at home and a game I believe that will be high scoring, so bet over the line. The last game we want to take a look at here is as we scroll down through San Antonio Spurs and the Dallas Mavericks. This is probably going to be the game of the day. Dallas is fourth in the Western Conference, and San Antonio is in the play in game at 10th in the conference. Both teams are burning hot at the moment with uh, San Antonio winners of their last three and five out of their last six, while Dallas has also won five out of their last six, and they have won their last two. As far as the over-under goes, you can see Dallas has been involved in games over the line in five straight games, while San Antonio has been under the line in four out of their last six. So in a case like that, I would probably avoid going the over-under. Let's take a look at the score prediction to get a little bit better feel. San Antonio 114, Dallas 107, with a good percentage of confidence of 76%. On the power ranking indicator, Dallas is the better team right now, plus 24 compared to plus 14 for San Antonio. But San Antonio's been on a nice upward climb over the last week or so. The volatility oscillator shows the stability factor, as we always like to take a look at. Both teams showing nice stability at plus 30 for Dallas, plus 21 for San Antonio. I think that being at home, Dallas will be the favorite. But I kind of am thinking... Along the lines of San Antonio and upset, it's just a gut feeling I'm having on this one. I like San Antonio on the road to win in an upset, and I would avoid the over-under, though, in this contest. So there you have it. Those are the games for NBA for April 10th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.